Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. First pack open a Triome, nothing too exciting. Do have the Skybonder, Sprite Dragon, pretty good uncommons. There's like Great Horn. We might be able to just force the cycling deck with Snare Tactician, that's another option here. Take all the one mana cyclers, or we could take a Sprite Dragon and draft the Blue Red Spells deck. I'm kind of down to try out the cycling deck. Take all the tacticians and other cycling payoffs we can find, and all the one mana cyclers we can find, and try and build a deck like that. Had we taken the sprites, then Dracus would have been pretty good. We've got Go for Blood as one mana cycler, that's also removal. Dreamtail Heron could be okay too. There's a Moloch, which I guess still goes in the cycling deck. So can maybe wield the Go for Blood. Some okay black cards and the Mentor and the Leech. Yeah, let's try the Moloch. Gotta be a pacifism here. Just a solid to my removal spell. If we didn't have pacifism, then... I guess Tiger would have been an option, or we could just take Ambush as a one-mana cycler. Let's take pacifism. What do we have here? Another Tactician and a Fire Prophecy. This is close. Not sure which we prefer. Maybe it's still the Fire Prophecy just as a very efficient removal. But seeing a Snare Tactician still in the pack is a good sign. The Red White Dual Land is still available. Rumbler is also pretty decent. If we're trying to be aggressive. But Taking removal spells, never a bad idea. The Green Mentor still in the pack. Another Dreamtail Heron. So the Blue Rats spells deck with a bit of Mutate Synergy could have worked out pretty nicely too. But I'm happy with just a one mana Cycler here. Gotta start picking those up if we want to make our Cycling Synergies work. Ooh, wow. Flourishing Fox has to be one of the best cards we can hope for here. So very happy. Marshall would have been okay. Raking Claws, another Cycler. So the Red-White Cycling deck seems open if we're getting the Fox this late. I guess I'll take a Lava Serpent. Much prefer one mana cyclers, but this one we could still potentially hard cast. So I think I'm taking it over the startling developments. Sabertooth, two mana three one, not too exciting. Wolverine could also be okay with enough uh, instant and sorcery cyclers, but serpent seems fine. Definitely want the healer, one mana cycler that. Can also be played as a two drop if needed. Dead weight still in the pack. And this was our first pack where we didn't really wheel much useful. I guess we could take a Sky Bonder if we want a three mana 2 2 flyer. Don't think this is a weaponized the monsters type deck. Not playing sideboarded games, so don't need Blazing Volley. Don't think we're splashing black. Take my 2 mana 3 1, I guess. So we've got some decent removal. Couple cyclers, couple cycle payoff cards. Wow, even wield a snare tactician, that's nice. So white seems wide open. I guess this cycles. Didn't think we we're too interested in the heightened reflexes. 
Uh, I'll take a Raking Claws. I mean, both of these cards could be reasonable. Second pack. Hmm, Lutri is going to be a little bit difficult to support if I want to play multiple Snare Tacticians. But it is a free 3-2, so maybe it's worth it to cut a Snare Tactician and just play all one-offs. What's the alternative here? Divine Arrow, Medium Removal, Rock Slide, it's probably not amazing in this deck, but could be okay. I think it's worth it to still just get a, th a free 3-2 th and then just not play a Tactician and... I mean, if we, I guess, get like three or four more Tacticians, I'll maybe reconsider it. But 3-3-2 three, three, is still pretty decent. Huh, so now Fire Prophecy I wouldn't be able to play. But I might still take it anyway. Doesn't seem to be anything here, like Wolverine, maybe. Now I could take Flame Spill as another Soul Removal spell. There's not a Raking Claws, Rock Slide. Flame Spill probably just better than the Rock Slide here for us. Yeah, I could still main deck Lutri, maybe. Oof, this is a tough one. Reptilian Reflection, great payoff for cycling. And there's Pacifism as a not a very solid removal spell. Although we already have a Pacifism, Double Prophecy, Flame Spill, so it's not like we're lacking in the removal department, so I think I would rather get an extra threat. Can't really risk uh, trying to wield this. Take my Zenith Flare. Swallow Hole would also be pretty decent. I mean, there's a chance that it, if no one's the Red-White Cycling deck, I can wield a Zenith Flare. It's a little sketchy, someone's probably going to hate draft this before it gets to us. Swallow Hole would also be pretty solid removal otherwise. Yeah, I, I just don't count on the Zenith Flare wheeling, and it should be pretty good in our deck. Pyroceratops could be okay in this deck. Glider's just another two-part flyer, which is okay. I think we'd rather have the cheaper creature here. Mythos of Snap decks. Not too into it. Probably leaning Divine Arrow still. Yeah, we're not going to be able to cast this for the Mardu Colors. So it's kind of an awkward uh, removal spell. I mean, it could still be playable, but I think Divine Hour is probably better. Alright, got to take some Cyclers, since we haven't picked up many in this pack. think I prefer... A random 1-1 one -one or 1-mana cycler over yet another Divine Arrow. No cyclers here. Maybe we want the Liger. Don't seem to have a ton of instants and sorceries that cycle for the Wolverine. Maybe we do, though. And I have a lot of cheap humans that I wouldn't be able to mutate onto. Nothing cycles. Guess I'll take the creature over the spontaneous flights. Don't know if I'll play Vulpikeet since we don't have many good mutate targets. But probably doesn't make the cut either way. Wow, the Swallow Hole wields, so no one's drafting white. 
Find us one wields. Oh, never mind. Take the snare, I think. Two mana cycling is a lot different from one mana cycling, so hopefully we can uh, find a couple more one mana cyclers in the last pack. This is probably just another snare tactician. Don't think we satisfied the Kahira companion uh, condition. Smasher would be okay, but it's three mana to cycle, which is pricey. Marmoset would be good too. Not sure which I prefer between Marmoset and Tactician. Maybe we switch it up a little bit. And White also seemed super open, so the Tactician might even wheel. So we can take Marmoset and then hope to wheel Tactician or at the very least uh, Officer. What do we have here? Another Tactician. Ventures, like, okay. No one mana cyclers. Yeah, we're gonna be in need of more cyclers, that's for sure. Not sure which is better between Venture or uh, Tactician here. Maybe I would rather have Venture just as this uh, good blocker against a big mutate creature. And there's always a chance that Snare, snare Tactician wheels. Or the Crystal, maybe, but... Not a pacifism. Yeah, there's just no cyclers here whatsoever. Dire tactics would have been good for black whites. Checkpoint officers, okay too. We have a lot of removal, but I'm uh, a little bit worried that we don't have enough cyclers here for some of our payoffs. Uh, Alright, this is a one mana cycler. Rock slides, okay, but we're not gonna have a ton of lands in play. So it's a bit clunky removal in this deck. We've already got a lava serpent. Don't think we're really going super wide in this deck, so I'd rather just have the cheaper cycler. And we're probably wheeling something out of this pack anyway. Another zenith flare. Not giving up on anything amazing. Maybe hampering snare wheels. Or wilts. Ooh, nice. Savai Thundermane. Not passing any cyclers. More pacifisms. How many can we get? I mean, again, there's no cyclers here that we're passing, so... Not sure if people are starting to hate draft the one mana cyclers or if we just didn't open many. <laughs> More pacifisms. Can take a two mana cycler. But I guess I'll just take all the pacifisms. Snare Tactician wields. Another Snare Tactician, or I can take Crystal. I mean, I guess I'll take another Tactician. Could take Friendship. Oh no, never mind. I thought this was Cathartic Reunion for a second. I might want something chunkier, to be honest. Because our curve isn't incredibly high, so I might just want a random 3-3 three, three that makes a 1-1. One, one. I'll take my Cycler. I'll take my Cycler. Alright, so not as many Cyclers as I would have liked. But we should be able to make an okay deck here. So let's put all our removal in one pile. It's going to be a pretty big pile. And then we'll put the cyclers in a separate pile. This is kind of both a cycler and a cycling payoff. 
don't think Sergeant's gonna make the cuts. Don't think we're playing Lutri. Fumes is a random cycler. Of course, we don't need any blue or black lands. And then how many lands do we play? It's probably like 16-ish. Uh, so let's have a look. This is 52, so do we need to make uh, a lot of cuts. This is not a cycler. Healer also doubles up as a cycler, so I guess we could put that in this pile too. Can maybe cut the glider. And I'm not sure about a day squad marshal. Might not be needed. Divine Arrow is probably the weakest removal spell we have. Are we happy enough with like 10 cyclers? We might be. So let's say we cut two of those. Then I have two, three, four, five, one mana cyclers. And one, two, three, four, five, two mana cyclers, some of which I can also hard cast. Still need to make six cuts though. Maybe the venture is not good enough. And I guess Moloch we can also cycle for two. Fox I can always cycle for one. Yeah, maybe we'll cut the fumes. Four more cuts. Maybe one land can go. I think I need more white than reds for those pacifisms mainly. So I could go eight, seven, fifteen lands. I'm not gonna cut the ambush because one mana cyclers are at a premium. If we were to cut more cyclers, it would probably be the crystal as a two mana cycler that I'm not too interested in hard casting. It is true that Swallow Hole can be a little awkward if we don't have the early creature to go with it. And we do have four pacifisms to take care of larger creatures, so I might not need the Swallow Hole effect. Two more cuts. Maybe I can get away with one more cycler being cut. No, I don't want to play more than 40 because I want to have my good payoff cards in my opening hand as often as possible. Yeah, my worry with cutting Tactician too is that we end up with too few creatures to actually keep in play. Like maybe Flame Spill is just worse than Prophecy and uh, Pacifism at that point. Like, how much does the difference between 3 damage and 4 damage matter? Probably not that much. Let's try this. That way I still play 15 lands, and if we flood out, I can use Prophecy to put land on the bottom. Yeah, Flare's not great early on, but that's also a card I could put on the bottom with the Fire Prophecy if uh, we don't want it, but it's probably one of our better finishers. Like, I could easily see having four or five cycling cars in the graveyard. And this just uh, closing out the game. Alright, so... We have a hand that would have been great with the planes in it, with the turn one fox. Without planes... It's a little awkward, I can play like a turn three marmoset and start cycling. I mean, I have like, what, eight planes in the deck, and we're on the draw, so if I draw one by turn two, I'm happy. I'll try it. I could cycle turn one, but ideally I want to hold my cyclers until after I play the fox. Yeah, given that I have three one mana cyclers, I might be able to get away with cycling one of them. 
keep the more expensive cycler, which I'm more interested in playing later in the game. I guess I can cycle the two mana cycler now. Hmm. I guess I could play Tactician and next turn Marmoset plus Fox. And then we'll start cycling. Hopefully no great sharks, although I guess we can tap those down. So I'm going to attack. Probably cycle the dinosaur here. Take it from there. Do I keep cycling? I guess so. Could even cast a Raking Claws, but into five open mana, that seems a little sketchy. All right, I'll just let damage happen. Uh, that blood curdle makes sense. That happens. Against ram through, keeping up mana to cycle and grow the fox could have been safer. Because I have to kill the fox now. That would be bad, but then again, my opponent's probably not too interested in uh, doing that into one open mana when we could have a one mana cycler. Parcel Beasts means they still have a nice value engine, but they wouldn't be blocking. All the pacifisms. Well, we've got removal for days. Question is, does my opponent have more removal for my creatures? Because then we could be in a bit of trouble. If they just play creatures to block with, we'll be fine. Keep land in hand to maybe discard to the Prophecy. The Leech. Oh right, it removes all the counters too. So it actually killed the fox. And 
Yeah, going to need some cyclers over the top. Zenith Flare would also be decent at this point. Gets a leech back with lifelink. That's still a fine target for pacifism. And a shark to bounce. I mean, they're putting more mutate creatures onto a creature that already can't attack. So it's not that bad for me. Flare for six is going to be nice. So I could pacify the other attack for two. I mean, I could also just attack and if they jump, I'm fine with it. Although I'll likely end up pacifying the other anyway. So I'm basically giving them the choice to chum block if I attack first. All three creatures pacified. Parcel Beast definitely keeping them in the game. So good cycle and then still flare. So we've got insurance. I ran through and response killed them, so they don't gain a life from the fights or the pseudo fight. Otherwise I would have kept them alive. All right, I mean, opponents had a lot of removal there. But uh, yeah, the cycling deck seems pretty strong once it starts going. Hmm, another opening hand with a fox, but no white. And this time I only have the one land. I could cycle Dranith Healer, but I do need to find like multiple lands. I have two Tacticians and a Marmoset at three. Yeah, this seems a little too sketchy. I mean, I, I guess I could also cycle the fox. Problem is, if I cycle healer and fox, I don't have many cyclers left for the rest of my hand. I think this is probably still mulligan. Alright, this is better. Gotta be careful not to cycle the fox on turn one. The Ozolith, all right. Next turn, play Tactician. Or Marmosets. Against blue reds, their creatures are not going to be enormous where I need to tap them down, so I might be able to get in more damage with the Marmoset, who knows. Could also play Tactician and then still cycle, so I get more damage from the Marmoset and still get to tap down with a Tactician. Sadly, Fox down.
probably gonna hold the ambush for the time being. I think we take the six, even though I could tap it down. I guess we can cycle the ambush, see what we get. Alright, opponents. I kind of want to just play this. So how about I hit them for six, cycle tapping down the sprite and their turn, and then next turn just play the Moloch. Then what do I want to cast? Probably the Serpents. And then I can still tap down the Dragon with the Ventosaur. So let's see here. Next turn I'm gonna play the Serpents. Five. So I might want to tap down the Lynx instead of the Dragon. Although I guess if I kill the Dragon they get to move the counters with the Ozolith. Otherwise I could force them to chump with the Dragon instead of the Lynx. Yeah, this is kind of tricky. I guess I'll tap down the Dragon still. Right, pacifism definitely helps too. Now I do miss out on the Serpents. I can only play that card, so I don't think I can cycle it. Otherwise cycle double pacifism would be the safest. Because yeah, the problem here is if I Lava Serpent attack with all, opponent chumps Serpents. But if they have two spells next turn, I could be dead to the Dragon. So it might be safer to just attack and double pacify. Because like my opponent's going to be at 2, I'm going to have two lethal attackers, I'm probably still in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think I'm not going to take any risks. I didn't have to double pacify, I could have like... wow. That's brutal. Yorion resetting the Lynx and the Dragon. That came out of nowhere. So we just gotta hit a string of cyclers for the Tactician here. It's gonna be tough. Eh, yeah, that works too. Mm, 
Don't love this, we don't have any cycling payoff for lances a bit much. This is also pretty bad. I think we gotta go to, to five here. So we're up against Gigantha. Keeping two lands, keeping the Reflection, which is kind of our only threat, and the, the Raking Claws to enable it. So I gotta decide between Prophecy and Pacifism. The discard effect from Prophecy is not too relevant right now. So I think I'm keeping Pacifism, which can also maybe answer Gigantha later. I think our best bet is just hitting our land drop for reflection with the raking claws, playing this and hoping to just string together a couple cyclers to attack with it. Don't think playing a 2 mana 2 2 is gonna win us the game. So, we've got Healer to get the first attack in. Hmm, I guess we'll play Marmoset now. I mean, I don't even have to Pacifism this turn since they don't have any good blocks. It's a nice draw. Alright, just need some cyclers off the top and we're good. The does cycle too. The Glimmer Bell can untap, so if I tap it down with Tactician it could still untap it. That cycles too. Could cycle on Pacifism and if they have nothing they're dead. Guess I'll start by cycling. It's this uh, fight spell. Right, so we don't kill them, but they can't block with a glimmer bell at least. So now do I pacify? Probably. I mean, I don't have to. Maybe the surprise of double pacifism is worth it. Can keep land in hand in case I draw my other burn spell, but the other one's at the bottom. I think I'll just pass. Yeah, we do have a second zenith flare that would be lethal. I mean, I think I'm just gonna double pacifism to get in for two or force him to chump. It's not great, they still have a Gigantha they can play too. Hmm. I guess I'll just pass. But of course more time goes on, more cards I draw with Empathy, so it's not like we're improving our chances here. I think my game plan now is probably to just keep the pacifisms 
for their big creatures so I don't die as quickly and then hope to top deck my Zenith Flare for the win. It's probably the most realistic out. So I don't want to use pacifism on their smaller creatures. Glimmer Bell plus Parcel Beast is a pretty sweet combo too. Get to activate it twice per turn. Let's see, I mean... Get to tap a creature down, let's say we tap down... Parcel Beast, which I don't want to pacify. I needed one more Cycler to win the game here. So I can put them to one. Just need a Zenith Flare of the top. Cyclers are still okay, but they might not be enough. Doesn't matter too much since the reflection has haste. Got plenty of lands to play and cycle but it is an extra chunky blocker. Opponent might end up decking before they kill me here. They're drawing so many cards. Still 18 cards left, so probably not anytime soon. Yeah, one Zenith Flare, besides the one on the bottom. It's a pretty scary Porky Parrot. Oh man, so close. If this was a cycler, play reflection, cycle, attack for for the win. We're still somehow in this game, but it's gonna have to happen soon. So how much does this deal now? Two? They've got a machine gun parrot here. So we're going to take out both Tacticians. And they can untap the Parrot one more time. So they've got the Reflection covered here. Pacifism's not good enough. So they get to use the parrots like f five times here. It's ten. Tank from the Great Horn thirteen. Yeah, we're drawing towards Zenith Flare. Maybe Cycler can still do it with the pacifism, clearing an extra blocker, but I doubt it. Especially if they keep the mana from Porky Parrot on tap to just kill the reflection. So we're probably working with a one outer here. I 
they did leave Porky Parrots to be able to kill Reflection. And just a land. Sorry, right, GG's. It's too bad. Yeah, the Mulligan definitely hurts there. Having to put the Flare on the bottom. Yeah, I think I'll make a small adjustment to the deck. Cutting a lance and adding an extra 2-mana Cycler. Should I cut Mountain or Plains? Probably Mountain. Although 6 Mountains is not a lot. So maybe this Plains. And which Cycler do we want? Or I guess Crystal. I can technically still cast. Opening hands are going to be a little sketchy now with only 7-7. Seven, seven, but the late game should be a little bit better. I'll take it. Two good cycling payoffs, two cyclers and a pacifism. Just need some red mana eventually. Uh oh. Yeah, pacifism has been a little lackluster this draft. Lots of creatures with, with activated abilities where it doesn't match up favorably. Next turn we can cycle pacifism. And luckily the reflection tramples, so the 1 1 tokens can chump it. Opponent's got some nice rares. Yeah, definitely gonna take that out of commission. Keep the cycler for next turn, and we can do the same. Yeah, the, the real strength of this deck lies in some of these uncommon payoffs, so like the fox and the reflection. Sure. No fear. So they should be dead here. Even got the Zenith Flare. I guess I could have Light of Hope to survive. So I guess I should attack. Opponent can jump and then I Zenith Flare them for three. Is that better? I mean, it doesn't matter. Sweet. Six and two, time for the final boss. There's a lack of cyclers, but that just means we're gonna top deck more cyclers, right?
All right, interesting spots. I do want to play a creature, but I also don't want the Recluse to get out of hand. But I guess pacifism is still a good answer. So I think it is worth it to Marmosets. And then next turn I might cycle plus pacifism or prophecy, depending on the situation. Got a flying spider. If they want to put counters on the recluse, be my guests. It's pretty strong. 5-4 draws 2. Could also play another tactician and cycle healer for one, tap two things down. And then give them the chance of jumping with Keruga if they want to. Maybe that's better. Does mean I don't get to attack with a tactician. But they would just block that anyway with the 1-3. And now with two Tacticians, it becomes much easier to set up profitable attacks later. So Pacifism not the best with Parcel Beast since they can still get that value. But it does prevent a 4-6 from attacking me. One mana cyclers are good. Can I just kill them? C6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need to hit another cycler to kill them. Got pretty good odds. Let's yeah, start by cycling. So close. If only the Moloch cycled for one mana. I can pacify him Prophecy and then next turn go Reflection, cycle Moloch. And then probably kill the Flying Granter. Or the Mentor, the 3-3. Three, three. Let's kill this. Found a Plains. Try this. And what do I pacify? Probably Karuga. All right, and the next turn, hopefully, reflection into Moloch is enough. Gonna be one short now. So now I gotta play it a little bit differently. Yeah, I can just attack with my tacticians, tap two things down in their turn, and then next turn go reflection cycle, and hopefully that's game.
I guess I should have played Reflection there. Shouldn't matter too much. Can tap down any additional blockers they play end of turn. So yeah, if I just cycle the Raking Claws, untap, play Reflection, cycle Serpents. They should be dead. I guess I don't even have to cycle Claws because I'll tap down with Tacticians anyway. Three, and then I could maybe cast the Raking Claws too if I draw lands. All right, sweet. Yeah, I guess cycling the Raking Claws end of turn, untapping and just playing the Serpent also would have worked. So there were a few permutations that uh, would have done it there. Yeah, red-white cycling, definitely the real deal. What we've learned from this draft is play fewer lands. I think we ended up with 14 in the end, which Seems very low, but with all those cheap cyclers, you'll eventually draw into more lands. Prophecy was useful for getting rid of extra lands in the late game too. The uncommon payoffs are kind of the centerpiece of the deck. The fox, the reptilian reflection, and then the snare tacticians did a ton of work as well. Deck's uh, pretty weak to hexproof. That uh, six mana blue hexproof creature that our opponent played a couple games ago was a pretty big roadblock since we can't tap it down with the tacticians. So that's a potential way to stop this deck from uh, overwhelming you and uh, yeah sometimes you just cycle into a bunch of lands or don't hit the payoffs in time and you struggle if the opponent just kills all your uncommon payoffs or your tacticians then you're just left with an underpowered deck but then zenith flare also can help you close out the game as a burn spell which we saw a couple of times so this is the deck for anyone that's missed the actual draft ended up adding back a crystal over lands for the last couple games so even though we have some pretty decent creatures in the sideboard and even some additional removal spells that we weren't able to fit into the deck the priority is really just having a high density of cyclers to make the uh, cycling payoff cards function don't even think we ever dealt two damage with the thunder main but that's another nice card let's crack some packs Pack one, pick one. What do we take? Probably ram through. Some good black cards here. Not a huge fan of the Mamba, but that eye can be good in a Demir Flash deck. Death Dweller. Keep safe can have its moments. Crystal and Giants, definitely a bomb. But we also saw the power of the Reptilian Reflection in the current draft. That way it's proving to be maybe a little weaker than in previous sets, just because there aren't as many 2-drops in the set as in the past. So it's less important to have a removal spell like this. It doesn't even kill the Snare Tactician out of the white aggro deck. But uh, I mean, still, you'll definitely play it if you get it. More Triomes, good for the collection, and still okay in drafts, you'll definitely take them if you're playing two of those colors, might even play it if you're only playing one of the colors. Sprite Dragon can be quite good in the spells deck, Prophecies, great removal. Ooh, Umori, definitely want to try and draft a deck around Umori at some point. But even just casting it for 4 mana is great, so this card's very good.
Giruda, good in constructed, definitely very good in draft as well. Not too difficult to meet the companion requirements. Song of Creation, now with that one, I'm not brave enough to try and draft. Maybe once we're bored with the set. But uh, easy praise, okay. Again, there is not as many two drops in the set as usual, but you can always cycle it for two mana if it's a dead card. Of one mind's a nice card draw spell. Oricorn doesn't strike me as one of the better mutate cards. And white also has a problem of having lots of humans that you can mutate onto in the first place. Kiruga opened all the companions in our packs. Another nice companion to draft around. And it's probably going to see plenty of constructed play as well. Anything else in the pack worth talking about? Void Beckoner, Death Touch at instant speed, Death Touch counter great with the Porcu Parrots, which we've seen in this draft. Alright, that was fun. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.